guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to give this disclaimer out there. I don't know what this video is going to be named and if it's something like two minute makeup challenge or something like that, I want to tell you this video is going to be nothing. It's not going to be as long as two minutes and I'm not going to do any like makeup look on my face because like you can see, I've pretty much like done my makeup to film the video. But yeah, uh, this video is going to probably be somewhere around 20 minutes. So I don't want the video uh, like the uh, length of the video and the title to be like misleading or like to be very different from each other so yeah i will try to name it something more uh, something better basically something more relatable but if i'm not able to come up with something like that i'm really sorry but yeah this video is gonna be kind of like a chit chatty video where i'm gonna like talk to you guys a lot so yeah if you don't like me personally if you don't like long videos this is not the video for you, you should probably click out. But yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna kind of talk about um, this new lipstick challenge that I'm gonna give myself and kind of like what my go to look is gonna be for the next couple of months. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in like a chilled video where I'm gonna sit and talk about lipstick and um, everyday makeup, then this is the video for you. If you like long videos, then this is the video for you for sure. Because it's going to be very very chatty and probably like half an hour so yeah let's get started so first of all if you've been a regular subscriber and a follower you would know that i keep giving myself like these lipstick challenges every once in a while i can a liquid lipstick challenge i get a bullet lipstick challenge and now we're gonna do this like i don't know sort of i want to say colorful lipstick because we have some pink lipsticks we have uh, peachy lipsticks we have brown lipsticks and we have a nude as well because my lipstick collection is never incomplete without nudes and my challenge can also not be incomplete without like it will be incomplete without nudes so yeah basically if you know me you know that uh, the lipstick that i wear in like every single video pretty much looks the same because i'm the kind of person once i discover a particular lipstick i will just fall in love with it and then use it so much like i will literally use that exact same lipstick like every single day till and until i don't like end up finishing it up and then i will move on to like another lipstick so yeah when i get obsessed with a particular shade in a particular lipstick i will not like we cannot be apart but what ends up happening because of that is that the other lipsticks that are in my collection kind of like get neglected and I don't end up reaching for them as much so that is why I decided to pick out some lipsticks from my collection which I feel like um, I have had for a while and I need to probably like use up in the next couple of months before they go bad like before the year ends so first of all I don't know how long this challenge is going to be it's going to probably be for the next two three months so yeah i will do the finale of this challenge and come back and tell you how i enjoyed uh, all of this after like two or three months but i decided to pick up like around 10 lipsticks i believe because most of these lipsticks are actually uh, like ones which i will use with each other so and the reason i keep looking down is because i actually have all of the lipsticks in this uh, pen stand right here so uh, normally i don't use pen stand actually to store pens i either use them for brushes or this time I'm using them to store all of my lipsticks and I specifically put all of the lipsticks and there are actually some lip balms as well which we'll get into uh, that I will be using for the next couple of months so like this is going to be my go-to place to like grab lipstick and um, this one is not a part of the challenge actually this is a red uh, it's the faces all time pro long scale liquid lipstick this is one that I'm going to be you see me wear a lot more in videos specifically because this is one I would not wear like throughout the day considering that it's not as long lasting because uh, when you tend to eat it like disappears from the center of the mouth and then I become Hanuman which I don't like to like outside because it's a red like it's a reddish maroon kind of a color so this I will try to wear more when I am filming videos and then uh, we also get into like all of the other lipsticks but first I want to talk to you and like explain myself as to why I'm particularly doing this challenge so basically for the next couple of months like uh, first of all i don't know when this video is going to go live when i'm filming this we're in the end of april today is i believe 19th or 20th i'm not really sure uh, because i can't really keep track of dates but um, as of now what we know is that this quarantine and this lockdown is going to um, it's going to extend basically till may 3rd but there are already a lot of rumors and saying that you know what is probably not going to end so soon 
probably going to get extended further, which I don't really want should happen. But you never know. Um, it's all in Modi ji's hands and in God's hands. And hopefully, uh, it gets over soon and we get over this coronavirus part. We don't really know. And uh, you're going to see this video sometime during May. So either the lockdown will be lifted already or we'll probably still be in quarantine. So basically, this challenge will start uh, post quarantine because um, it's basically going to kind of be like my go to look for the monsoons. Now, I want to know this from you guys. Uh, are you like a person who wears like makeup in the monsoons or you don't? I am someone I try to wear as minimum of makeup as possible in the monsoons because. I have this mentality that no matter if I have like the best raincoat or the best umbrella or whatever, uh, if I'm out in the rain and like I'm traveling and it's like raining, um, I end up like getting water like on my hands and on my face and I still end up getting wet. I'm probably not going to get drenched but I'll still be wet no matter what umbrella or what raincoat I have and uh, then my makeup is obviously going to like get spoiled and my face gets wet. So that's the reason why in, in the monsoons I kind of avoid wearing makeup as much as possible. Uh, so that is one reason why I'm not going to be wearing a lot of makeup post quarantine. But I feel like the main, main, main reason, and I should have spoken a little bit more about this in my previous like hashtag Hatha 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 video, which I didn't. But um, right now, like where we are right now in April, um, we've got like this notice like nothing's fixed right now but i read this article a couple of i think like a week back or so that um like i am right now in my third year and i'm supposed to graduate so my sixth semester exams will probably take place post 15th May. but again it depends um, on quarantine and when the lockdown ends if the lockdown gets pushed further beyond May for then again my exam dates will get, get pushed further and I don't know when my exams will be held but what I know for sure is that when I am either going out uh, like when I'm leaving the house to go somewhere out in the monsoons or if I'm going for my exams I am not really wanting to wear makeup uh, because on an exam morning makeup is not like a top priority especially since um, I mean my exams are actually supposed to be held like right now. Um, our initial schedule was supposed to be like it was supposed to start on 16th April, and so it was supposed to be going on right now, which it's not. And um, considering the kind of stressful environment we are all in right now, even though I have not like I have been wearing makeup because I do wear makeup when I film, but otherwise on a day-to-day -day basis, I on a day-to-day -day basis I don't really wear any makeup. So yeah, um, I know. I've taken like a big 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 break from wearing makeup on a regular basis in quarantine and it's gonna affect my project fan but I know that post quarantine I'm not gonna be like getting into wearing a lot of makeup because of monsoons and because of like the whole exam thing that is going on. So yeah that is probably why I kind of wanted to do this like challenge. I felt like it was the perfect time to do it right now. So the reason I'm calling it the two minute makeup challenge is because I'm going to be doing this very 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 super simple makeup which is going to involve only lipstick on the lips like even though with exams and everything I'm still someone I can't leave the house without lipstick so I know I'll be definitely wearing lipstick uh, post quarantine when I go out of the house uh, either for my exams or just like in general if I'm stepping out of the house I'm definitely going to be wearing lipstick for sure and the other makeup product I'm going to like uh, challenge myself to use is actually this stick highlighter from NYX so I don't own any like cream highlighters, cream blushes or like any of that stuff this is the only stick slash cream like basically non powder product that I own when it comes to like face products um, and I've had this for a very long time like I was just going through my Instagram feed and I remember I received this in like a goodie bag when NYX had their uh, like NYX opened their store in uh, Mallard in Infinity and there was like a Shreya Jain Maiden Greek I remember receiving this then and that was 2017 you guys we're in 2020 right now this is almost 3 years old uh, it will probably I mean it's probably already 3 years old but it's not expired or anything like I don't it's a cream product but I don't see any mold or anything on this and I've used quite a bit of it it's not like I've not used it at all I have like half of it left half and maybe a little bit less than half of it left so this is one that I use every year 
doing like the quick pose usually because that is when I like like to moisturize my skin a lot and I might not use like powder products so this is kind of a product now I know different people have different styles when it comes to makeup but if I'm using any liquid or cream product I would not want to use any sort of powders in my routine and that is kind of not really possible at all times so for me personally when I'm using something like this I will not wear any other base makeup when I'm using makeup on my face it's going to be a very no makeup makeup look kind of a look which is why I decided to challenge myself to use this uh, in like a 2 minute makeup look so um, it's something that will still not take a lot of time to do you can just draw like one line on each of your cheek like on the tops of your cheekbones just quickly blend it out with like a finger and then just put on lipstick and it would hardly take 2 minutes to do something like this I would still look a little bit put together when I'm going to give my exam or when I'm stepping out of the house no matter what your kind of location is so yeah that is why I decided to like do this challenge right now so this is going to be the first part I'm going to challenge myself to use and I will hopefully like finish this up before September 2020 because after September 2020 I probably feel too uncomfortable using it because I would know for sure that it's been like 3 years since I have owned this product and I don't even know if it was manufactured right before I got it or like it was comparatively older but since we are not seeing any mold right now in this I still don't feel very uncomfortable to use it and I will still use it up so yeah I'm gonna challenge myself to use this one up in the next 3 to 4 months and um, along with that we have all of the lipsticks that I'm gonna talk about now so um, I'll talk about them like um, based on how I have um, paired the colors so um, the first combination that we have is like a peachy combination and I have my pack Retro Matte Gloss which is like a liquid lipstick in the shade Soza and I have NYX Strawberry Daiquiri so both of these are like uh, sort of more peachy kind of a, kind of colors I'm going to swatch them for you so we have NYX Strawberry Daiquiri right here it's like a bullet lipstick but it's a little of a, it's slightly more patchy so um, I would not want to wear this on its own which is why I always pair it with uh, packed soda on top it's slightly more darker like you can see it's like more pink so when you wear them together yeah see what it looks like so we have strawberry tackling on the bottom we have packed soda on top this is going to be my first like peachy pink combination then we have uh, the Lakme 9 to 5 uh, Primer Plus Matte of the shade Cherry Chic and this is like a brown it's like a maroonish brownish kind of a colour this is what it looks like so on my lips it looks more brown but when I'm swatching it it looks more maroon so yeah this one kind of depends like it depends on the lip pigmentation that you have as well okay i'm really sorry but i'm gonna like tie my hair up because it's bothering me with uh, the swatches i don't want my hair to like mess with the swatches or anything so we're gonna keep my hair out but yeah this is what cherry chic by lacme looks like then we have sugar bear flare which is next which I like to pair with mocha spice because I've always spoken about how drying this is and like this will flake within 15 minutes of me applying it if I directly apply this on my lips but when I use a bullet lipstick underneath it does not flake it lasts pretty well throughout the day it does still feel dry but at least it doesn't crack and crumble and like look super duper disgusting so we have Bella Wastel's mocha spice which I have swatched right here on top of cherry chic like you can see this is a true warm brown kind of a colour I feel like now you can see the like now that we have a, a brown like a true brown to compare you can tell the cherry chic is a lot more like on the red side so yeah we have that and then we have bare flare which is like a perfect terracotta brown kind of a colour also I have mentioned this like multiple times but um, the Bella Hostie Mocha Spice is very very brown and it looks super duper brown in my complexion as well so when I use this terracotta brown which is bare flare along with it like when I mix them together it looks a lot more like neutral and doesn't look as warm 
so we have all of those then we have uh, i'm also adding this in this is uh, dare to be bare by avon this is kind of like a backup lipstick that i'm adding this is a very 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 nude shade and actually washes me up when i wear it on its own and i'm adding this in because uh, if i feel like any of the browns are too dark and i want to like kind of make them a little bit more nude for everyday wear then i will wear this so on my skin it looks like a perfect nude but when i wear it on my lips because of my lip pigmentation it actually kind of washes me out and it looks like a very 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 like super super nude skin color so i would not wear this on its own but when i pair it with like other lipsticks which are brown like i can also pair this with mocha spice and it's going to look like a slightly more lighter warm nude sort of a version so i can pair these two together or i can pair this with even i think cherry chic maybe i've not tried these two together ever but i can try and see how they look so yeah this is one that i'm just adding as a backup option to see and to have it like a mixing shade because um, i don't own any other lipsticks uh, in my collection which i can pair this with so adding in this challenge would uh, help me to also use this one up as well so we have that then the last lip combo that i have is my avon simply pretty lipstick the shade lovely pink this is a bright bright pink i feel like i have enough space left to like swatch and i'm going to swatch it right here like you can see it's a very sheer lipstick and uh, it's also a very bright lipstick it's more of a glossy one as well so this when i pair with my streetwear runaway reset i got like a backup of this when i found out the streetwear was like reformulating and discontinuing this lipstick so i had a backup and uh, i'm going to swatch it your next to the lips uh, strawberry blackberry shade this is what it looks like this is like a perfect nude pink and when i pair it with this it looks like a more like richer pink not like a darker pink but like a richer pink so i'm going to pair these two together and use them like that that was the last lip combo but we also have one last lipstick which um, i don't remember if i have ever worn this or not and it's still in the box which makes me feel like i have not worn this yet probably and one of the most surprising things is actually that this is going to expire in december 2020 this is the uh, lacme 95 lipstick the shade caramel cut this is kind of like the shade i'm wearing right now what i'm wearing is lacme or uh, caramel toffee but like you know that is like a limited edition because it was like a collaboration with masaba gupta in the masaba lip shade it was like lacme lip crayon but um, i love the shade so much that i wanted to have it in my collection so i went looking and i found it in lacme itself i found caramel cut which i guess i will have to swatch here because we're out of space this is what it looks like i like can see it's very similar to what i have on my lips but of course lip pigmentation also matters but when you swatch these two together like on the hands also it looks pretty much the same so we have caramel cut um now this one um i do want to mention lacme 95 panel plus not is one of the best formulations out there but uh, since i have the box i saw the uh, like date of when it was made like the manufacturing date and the expiry date and if you own these lipsticks they last only for 2 years and normally i feel like a lot of makeup lasts for 3 years even lipsticks but this one this lasts for 2 years so i want to tell you that if you are someone who wants like a holy grail very very good everyday lipstick then this is what you should definitely go for i highly recommend it because if it's like your everyday lipstick you will definitely use it up in 2 years but if you are someone who's like a lipstick collector then i wouldn't recommend this particular range like don't go ahead and buy this because it's going to go bad in 2 years and you'll probably not be able to use it if you are someone who has like 10000 lipsticks or maybe even like a couple hundred so like 40 50 lipsticks that is still a lot and you will not be able to use it up in 2 years for sure you probably just get a couple of uses maybe if you don't forget the lipsticks like i do in my collection so yeah that is something i do want to mention because i love the formulation but i'm very disappointed to see that these just have like a shelf life of only 2 years 
So yeah, that was about all of the lipsticks which I'm going to challenge myself to use in the next uh, couple of months, like maybe three or four months. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I, I'm going to make a list of all of these and uh, use the number generator in Google and kind of like rotate that way and use different few lipsticks. So I'm using all of them like equally. Uh, but I'm not, uh, I mean, if I have to pick one of them, I know for sure that I will pick one and then I will use that lipstick every single day and then ignore the others. So I feel like uh, if I use that number generator system, which I saw uh, actually on Kelly Gucci's channel, when she does her palette bingo, she uses the number generator. And it's just basically, like if you type number generator on Google, you understand, you have like a limit of numbers, like depending on the number of products you have, you can put like number 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 and when you click on generate, it just generates a number so based on whichever number like comes on the generator I will choose which lipstick, so like I will number all of them and then whatever number comes uh, on the generator I will match that to like my list and then whatever number is the particular lipstick I will choose that for the particular day I hope I'm making sense but yeah, that is how I'm going to get myself to use all of these in the next couple of months and let's see how that goes so yeah that is pretty much it for this video uh, i want to quickly also mention the lip balms that i have in my pen stand so i have the uh, the nivea we want to say nika the nivea uh, blackberry shine lip balm this is one that i use uh, and like you can see i've used up a lot of it i have just like this much left so yeah when i want like a tinted lip balm i go for this it's got a lot of color to it uh, and then I also have the Maybelline Baby Lips and I don't know yeah it's Cherry Kiss I was trying to find where the name is written it's Cherry Kiss so I have this one as well so once I run out of that I'll probably use this one this I don't think has as much of a tint but I mean if I want like a like a literal no makeup makeup look I don't want to wear any makeup at all then I can use this one as well so yeah, those are all the products that I want to talk about and that is the new challenge I'm giving myself for the next couple of months. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed are watching and if you did, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel and also to the bell button because that way you will get in every single time I post a new video. And I will also leave my Instagram in the description box just in case if you are interested in checking me out there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so 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 much for watching you guys. Until next time. Bye! Bye-bye.